Let's talk about the ability to share a file that is currently living in our Bluebeam Studio project with somebody who's not a member of the project. Maybe the issue is uh, this particular person, they don't need enough access. They're, it, it's just a one-off situation where I need to share one file with one person. Uh, how can we do that? It's really easy. So if we open Bluebeam Review for Windows, by the way, this works for the Mac version as well, which we'll look at here in just a minute. But in this case, it's the uh, review for Windows. I go, in, I go into Bluebeam Studio Projects. And I browse for my project, drill down to the file that I want to share. In this case, it's this file right here. So I right click on that file and I say share link. Okay. Some decisions need to be made. One is how long am I sharing that file for? And you have two options. One is lifetime of the project, and one is 24 hours. Uh, you know, I feel more comfortable in this situation making it 24 hours. In fact, I'm even going to include a uh, password. Just for an added layer of security, the recipient knows what the password is. So if anybody else comes across this link that we're about to create, they can't get very far without the password. And then there's another option for flatten. Uh, I'm not going to check that, but I'll tell you what it's for. If you had markups on your PDF that you're sharing and you didn't want the recipient to move your markups or alter them in any way, uh, you'd want to flatten your PDF before you send it. Uh, not an issue for me right now, so I'll leave that unchecked. And then I'll click OK. The next window gives me the link. So there's the project name, the file name, and the link. So if I click this button, Copy Link to Share, this link will be copied to my clipboard ready to be pasted anywhere, typically into an email. Okay. So let's fast forward and say, you know, I go into my email and I email this link to somebody. Um, they may or may not al already know the password. If, if not, we make sure they know the password in this case. And then they click on the link and they come to this. So uh, it's, it's browser driven. Uh, in this case, it's Chrome, but it can be any browser. Uh, and they're presented with this window that's asking them for their password. And they're going to type it and then they're going to click submit. Then they're presented with another window that allows them to download. So if I click here, uh, the download will start and that's it. The download is finished. They have the file. Um, remember, we have it for 24 hours. So if this file changes in Bluebeam Studio, um, they can download again later using the same link and uh, they can get the updated version, but that expires in 24 hours. Um, you know, I mentioned that this also works in the Mac version of Bluebeam Review. So if I go into the Mac version, uh, we're in Studio again. We're browsing through the same project. Okay, and I come down to the file that I want to share. Let's maybe pick a, a, a different one in this case. I right click, I say share link. We get the same window 24 hours, password protected. I'll pick a password again. So it's, it's the same process that works in the Windows version and the Mac version. Okay, so there it is, copy link to share. I'll just close that and move on. So couldn't get any easier. Now, if this person that we're sharing the file with is more involved, um, maybe they're, they, they need access to several more files, maybe that's a situation where we actually add them to the project and don't worry about sending them links anymore. One last thing I wanted to cover, and that is, that's 24 hours. Maybe you only want to share this for two hours or four hours. We didn't see that option. It was for the life of the project or for 24 hours. Let me show you what can be done here. So if I go back to Bluebeam Review, and I go to Studio Settings, on, under the General tab, you'll see Manage Shared Link scroll down you'll see that that particular project actually had four links shared so we've been here before if I click here uh, I will see let's see here it is that was just 30 seconds a minute ago I think we can click expire so we've expired that manually I can go back in and do the other ones too so we're no longer leaving any active links out there even though they are only for 24 hours we uh, we wanted to limit it to just a few hours, so we've we've taken care of that. So, anyways, thanks for watching.